I get asked this one question all the time. It always pops up in my Instagram messages, my email, my YouTube comment section, even on consultation calls. So I figured I would sit down and make a video about it because people are obviously wondering. And that question is, what is the best time frame? And this question gets formed in a couple of different ways. People will ask me, what time frame do I use? And they're usually asking me because they want to see what time frame they should be using. People will also ask me, what's the best time frame? Obviously, I'm going to use what I think is best. So it's all kind of the same question. What time frame should you be using as a trader? And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what time frame I use in today's video. And it's going to be a shocker. A lot of you are probably using things like the 15 minute chart, the four hour chart, the daily chart but I don't use any of that. I don't even use a time-based chart. And like I said, that might be a little bit of a shocker. Now you're probably wondering, well, what chart do you use if you're not using a time-based chart? I'm using a price-based chart. So this video is going to be split up into a couple of parts. First of all, I'm going to tell you why I don't care about the time frame. Then I'm going to be telling you what chart I actually use and why I use it. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to join the public Discord community. I'm going to be hosting my 1,000 subscriber giveaway very shortly. All you have to do is join and you have a chance at winning one year inside the self-made mentorship, 100% free. So let's talk about why I don't use a time-based chart. The reason I don't use a time frame or a time-based chart is because it's useless. Asking someone what time frame they use is the wrong question. You should be asking someone how they could become a better trader, not what time frame you should be using. Retail traders, the average everyday trader is hung up on the completely wrong thing. Instead of figuring out how they can have a better strategy, have better risk management, have better psychology, no. What time frame should I use? Should I use the four hour or the two hour or the one hour? That's not going to make you a better trader. A different time frame is not going to fix shitty technical analysis or a poor strategy. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because no matter what the time frame is, you're doing the exact same thing on every single time frame. You're analyzing what price is doing. Where is price going to go? How can you make money on where price is going to go? The only difference is the frequency. On a daily time frame, there's less opportunities because it's a little bit of a higher time frame. It takes longer for moves to happen versus the one minute chart, there's moves happening all the time. So there's more of a frequency of moves that you could be trading and making money on versus the daily, there isn't as many. And a lot of people will say, oh, the higher time frames are better because that's where the real trends are. No, it's just that there's less opportunity. And when there's less of something, when there's less opportunity, you're less likely to take a loss versus the lower time frame charts, there's way more opportunities. So you're more prone to take more trades and therefore take more losses. All right, you guys. So that's exactly why I don't use time frames because to me, it's the wrong thing to be focusing on determining what the market's going to be doing in the next five minutes or 15 minutes or hour, four hour day. I don't care about that. All right, you guys, what I care about is figuring out where is price going to go next? And can I make money on that move? And that's exactly why I use a price based chart. So you might be wondering now, what's a price based chart? Well, Basically, a new candlestick gets formed when the market moves a certain distance, when price changes. So I'll give you an example after I take a quick cigar break. So basically what that means is, I'll give you an example. It'll describe my, my um, idea a little bit better. Let's say you're looking at a one minute chart, okay? And the market on the one minute chart's moving sideways. It's bouncing up and down. So it moves sideways for 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, there are 30 one minute candles. But if you're using a price-based chart, for example, a Renko chart or a tick chart or a range chart, let's say the market is stuck in a 10 tick range and you're using a 10 tick Renko or tick chart or range chart, something like that. They're all pretty much the same thing. No new candles are going to form. There's going to be one candle on those charts, on those price-based charts, versus the time frame, the one-minute time frame, there's going to be 30 little one-minute candles bouncing back and forth. So it cancels out a lot of the noise. It makes things a little bit easier to read. And here's another example. Let's say the market moves extremely quickly, like it just absolutely rips higher very fast it'll make new candles very, very quickly. So like the previous example I said, maybe there's one candle for every 30 minutes. The market cannot go anywhere for an hour and it'll make just one candle. But let's say the market rallies 
15, 20 points in like 30 seconds, it's going to make new candles every single time the market moves a certain distance. So it's really focusing on what price is doing. And this is a big shift and something that's very different than what most of you are probably comfortable with. When I first started using a Renko chart, that's the one I personally use and I told you guys why, because it cancels out the noise. It was a little bit weird at first, it was uncomfortable, but as I got used to it, I realized that time frames and time-based charts are obsolete compared to the Renko chart. Nowadays, when I'm trading, I don't use a time-based chart. I don't even have one open. When I'm recording YouTube videos for you guys, I usually use a time frame, something like, um, you know, it could be the four hour, the weekly, or the daily, just because it's easier for the masses, for everyone to look at. Versus a Renko chart, it's a little bit different. It looks different, it does things differently, so it's a little bit harder for people that aren't used to it to look at it. So when I'm personally trading every single day, when I'm trading the S&P 500, I don't have a three minute chart, a one minute chart, a five minute chart. I don't have any of those charts open, you guys, because like I said, it's the wrong thing that you're thinking or you're, it's the wrong thing that you're trying to follow. Instead of figuring out what time frame is best, what time frame you should be using, figure out how you can become a better trader, figure out how you can have a better strategy, better risk management, better mindset. All of those things are what's going to make you a better trader, not a time frame. All right, you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video and hopefully you guys had a great trading week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody.